ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I've had many, many people ask me what uh, updates I've had on the Hellraiser franchise. Obviously, a lot of you guys may know me because of my Hellraiser work here on this channel. I was at one point pretty much the only person discussing Hellraiser to any sort of length and giving it, you know, the sort of fanfare that it deserved. Now, we have two projects in the works. So we've got a TV show, which is... David Gordon Green attached to it, uh, Michael Doherty from, uh, you know, Godzilla King of the Monsters and um, Trick or Treat, uh, as well as uh, The Hyden. They're, they're all working on that. We've had no updates on that. In fact, it's pretty much stalled at this point in time. But we have had sitting in the wings a movie. This is from David Bruckner, who did uh, The Ritual. He did the most recent film, uh, The Night House, which was actually developed from a Hellraiser script. Funnily enough, and he was on board for this sort of Hellraiser reboot movie. This was a direct-to-streaming film. We've heard no word on it other than we've got a, a transgender lead, Jamie Clayton. We've uh, it's, it was shot in Serbia for a little bit. It's wrapped. It's it, that's basically where it is now. Other key information surrounding this is, of course, that Clive Barker won. His lawsuit, his copyright lawsuit, to get the rights back. So he's he greenlit that again. He got the rights back and he said, "Yeah, let's go. Let's do it." Basically, and that's also the key reason why it was released on Hulu because he has a working relationship with Hulu. They've done the Books of Blood and other bits and pieces um, together. Now, take all of this with a pinch of salt. I cannot verify this. I do know, however. They did a test screening recently of that movie. I know that. I've seen it. Loads of other people have spoken about it. That's kind of verified, right? There has been a test screening. I've got leaks on the test screening, but I can't verify it yet. It was literally last night. It's now daytime in the UK. Things will start to move, and we'll hear more about it, and they'll sort of verify what I'm about to say, or they won't. But it's just rumour at this point in time. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fool anyone into thinking this is completely legit because I don't know. I'm unable to verify it. Okay, I just need to say that from the off. But we do have some leaks surrounding it, and they were quite positive. So if you don't want any spoilers, click off the video now. But we are going to get into leaks surrounding this movie. Now this uh, test screening again took place last night. There were invites out to that and. We'll just see how it goes. So if you're ready, you've had your spoiler warning, let's dive into these spoilers. And just as a heads up, if you do appreciate this video, hit the thumbs up and please do share it. Sharing these videos goes a really long way to helping out. And also, ladies and gents, consider supporting elsewhere, patron, memberships, that sort of thing. But let's take a look at some of these leaks. So, again, I was uh, contacted anonymously and this film screened in LA last night again we know that it was in LA this is not new we knew this now the individual that reached out to me said that they thought the movie was actually surprisingly good which is nothing but good news it's always good to hear however it's very different from the Hellbound Heart or the original Clive Barker film so that's not a huge surprise. They said that it was going to be a reimagining. They did kind of say it was going to be a remake of the original film. But I always thought that that kind of didn't make any sense when Goya was attached to writing it and they were struggling with the story. I was like, it's just an adaptation. You just redo it. That doesn't... All right then. Okay. So apparently it is its own thing. This is very much its own story. And a frightening one at that... Now, on the Cenobites, uh, I don't have a lot of information regarding this, by the way. It's quite... I've pried for more, but this is kind of bare bones. So, Cenobites, they are unique. They're very different from what we've seen before. Uh, apparently not leather or fabric, but there's very little of that on these Cenobites. They're going for the more sort of sexualized look. They're mostly naked. Uh, and they have intricately weaved patterns of flesh with exposed muscle 
and various ornate pieces of the lament configuration protruding from parts of their body. Now, I personally really like the sound of that, if true. I think that sounds fantastic. I think the sexualization of the Cenobites then being naked more so than anything else, with, you know, the flesh hanging off of them and the intricate weaving, obviously that's not sexualization, unless you're into that. Um, but that lends itself much, much stronger to Clive Barker's original novella than it does the film. So I like that as an adaptation. Now, Pinhead. So Jamie Clayton's transgender Pinhead. So Pinhead uh, apparently has two small circular patterns from the box trailing down her throat like buttons of a collar. I like that a lot. I think that sounds sick and twisted, which I like. The new Pinhead apparently has a commanding presence and a very similar feel to Doug Bradley's version in that respect. Now, clearly, it's, you know, she's feminine, but the design isn't sexualized so much like that. Which, yeah, okay, good. To a degree, yeah, good. Now, her, she, she apparently has a skirt, but it's not a skirt. Uh, it's draping skin weaved with a bit of fabric. So, grotesque. Love the sound of that. I think that sounds epic for this kind of film. Uh, her face is apparently the same iconic design, which makes sense because that is the design from the book. Uh, overall, this individual really enjoyed the look and feel of it. Apparently, Chatterer is back, but obviously different. And that sort of um, that sort of contradicts earlier points. So again, the legitimacy of this report, I don't know. But you know, if Chatter is back in some form or another, chattering teeth, but with no, just a different look. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, apparently, it's a well-made movie. Uh, this individual did have minor gripes with the lead actress. Now, the lead actress is supposed to be a troubled girl with some history of alcohol and drug addiction, and this individual wasn't particularly fond of her as a character. Which I think in some way is kind of... You know, it's not necessarily a bad thing to have the lead character not be super, super likeable, because depending on where they go with the characterization of the Cenobites and who they're hunting and what they do, that kind of makes some sense. Uh, but yeah, so uh, there's no indication on when this is going to be hitting streaming. Uh, they do say, apparently, that they would have preferred it to go to theatres uh, because individuals that were sitting near them were noticeably freaked out and they thought it could have been a great crowd movie. So there you go. Now, I know there'll be lots of people saying this is clearly bogus or, you know, you're talking shit. I don't know. Uh, I do leaks fairly often here on this channel, I normally say, this I can confirm, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I revealed that movie like a year and a half before that came out, uh, Candyman, I revealed the whole of that film before, like a year before that came out, there's, there's a lot which I go, I can confirm this, and then there's others like this report where I go, look, I don't know, I just don't know, and I don't, um, some of it I really like, some of it remains to be seen on how it's depicted but for the most part it sounds okay so do I think and want this to be right the chatter a bit seemingly contradicts the previous part of the statement you know but maybe it's just because they look completely different I don't know uh, but all in all there you have it it's exciting that we're getting a new Hellraiser it's exciting that it's with Clive Barker to some degree, because that kind of says, you know, the naysayers that go, no Clive, no Hellraiser. They can't say anything now, and I'm intrigued to see what they say if this turns out to be crap, or if this turns out to be good. So there you have it, it's exciting times, new Hellraiser is on the horizon. Let's hope it's good, leave your thoughts down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Again, we remain to see if this is true or false, but... Reports will come out in the coming days to indicate whether this is legitimate or not. It always happens with these kind of leaks. It just does. 
So, yeah. Cheers, guys. Take care. Also, perhaps consider checking out my Teespring store. You can find it linked down below in the description box. There's some really cool designs. There's something that you might like uh, on there. And it goes some way to helping the channel out and kind of what I do here. And it's a good way to support and rock some one-of-a-kind merchandise designs. We've got, of course, our favorite Jasper on a Clown World staff. But then we've also got something a little bit unique. Uh, the R32 GTR as well as a JDM Pulsar GTIR. Again, stuff for everyone. Bit of fun. Please do check it out down below in the description box.